Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name's Janae. In today's video, we are going to go over to Target and shop the new Studio McGee and Hearth and Hand 2024 Spring Collection together. I'm super excited. I know it's still December and it's ridiculous to be talking about spring, but I just saw yesterday that my Target was unveiling everything, and as we all know, a lot of these products, they will sell out right away, so they almost force us to just jump right into the next season. So anyways, I'm really excited. I do want to check out everything. I have seen a lot of this stuff online and I've been anxious to actually see it in person just because sometimes it's hard to tell online, you know, the sizing and what it actually looks like, the color, all that stuff. So I will go through everything with you guys and give you my honest opinion. And then of course I will have all the pricing linked down below for you as well. And I have a couple items in mind that I think I want to purchase, but I wanted to see them first. So if I end up purchasing some stuff, I will do a little haul at the end of this video and show you what I got. So let's just head on over to Target and go shop the new collection together. Starting off, they had a big selection of decorative boxes. I noticed these cute little spring ones that they brought out and these different tones of green. Also noticed these brown ones. They almost look like they're leather. These ones are really pretty too. I thought they looked really cute stacked on top of each other. Over on the hearth and hand side, they had a ton of different wood pieces. I was excited to see they had just so many different options. They have it in all different shades and shapes. I noticed this Lazy Susan, this one caught my eye. I thought it was really pretty because it came in a marble and a wood material and I think that's a really beautiful combination. They also had these really pretty trays. These could be used as decor pieces or you can use them in your room for eating or even in your living room, kind of use them as a TV tray. So pretty and functional. I love these little round mini risers. I use them throughout my whole house. The shade almost looked unfinished, but you can definitely take these, sand them down, and stain them to a color that matches your decor. I also really liked this ceramic serving bowl. This was from Hearth and Hand. I thought the color was pretty. It's in like a nice taupe shade, and I love the size and that it came with the wood lid. Lots of different decorative bowl options over on the Studio McGee side. I liked this one. I really liked the texture of it, and I liked the color. It's in like a really pretty gray tone. I like that you can literally just style this on a table. You don't need anything else with it and it just looks beautiful. I also really liked this white ceramic looking one. Very simple, but I think white is perfect for spring. And again, you don't have to feel the need to put things in this because it already has that texture on the outside. But I think my favorite one was this one. This one had these really pretty thick paneling on the sides. This one was super duper heavy, but it was really big. It was priced at $30 and I just thought it was such a beautiful piece. This oval cream tray from Hearth and Hand caught my attention. It reminds me a lot of the oval bowl on the Our House website that is priced at $224. This one at Target is priced at $29.99. This one is wood and the Our House one is marble, but this will allow you to get that same look for a fraction of the price. You guys, this large jug vase, I was excited to see it just because I saw it online and I was like, maybe the color's a little off, but in person, it is exactly the same. It is very orange and yellow. I'm just not a fan. This one was a definite no for me. It was priced at $40, so on the pricier end, and I feel like she kind of went for like a vintage look, but just it did not work. So this one was a fail for me. Here 
here is the vase version of that decorative bowl that Studio McGee did. This one was really pretty. It was big and heavy and it had those really nice carvings on the side. It is priced at $35 and she styled the vase and the bowl together on the website and I thought those looked beautiful paired together. Lots of fun, modern, kind of geometric looking shaped faces in this collection. This bowl in particular I really liked. I think this is very beautiful. It looks very high end. I feel like you would see this on a designer website. You can put this on a countertop, just put some fruit in it and it would make such a statement and it is only priced at $30 for the size. I feel like that's great. also loved these planters. I think these have so much visual interest to them. If you put them next to each other and put them on a porch, some large greenery in them, these would look really beautiful and make such a statement. I really like this amber glass vase in the smaller version. I have one very similar that I got from Target a few years ago, but I actually like this one a little bit more. I use it all throughout the year. Such a huge variety of beautiful spring florals and stems. These really pretty muted pink ones caught my eye. They reminded me a lot of the ones I saw on A Floral and these ones are only priced at $4.99 a stem. Also really liked these lavender bunches. Thought the color of these was just perfect and I like that they mixed it in with some green and yellow. These are priced at $14.99 so a little bit pricier but you do get a lot for that price. Studio McGee killed it with the wreaths this season. I thought she did a great job. She kept them really simple, but organic looking. I liked this one right here that had these gray blue tone little flowers on it. I could not, I don't have any wreaths in my house and I could not pick which one I liked the most. They were all around the same like $40 price range. So you guys need to let me know which one is your favorite and then maybe I will go back and pick one up. I loved this little sweet pea potted plant. I thought this one was so beautiful for spring. It's priced at $20. I love the color. It's in like a nice orange kind of pinky tone. Super cute. I think this looks great by itself or I also think it would look good if you added some greenery to it. Just such a cute little plant.
I also really liked this potted plant. I liked the little white pot that it came in. The stems were all different lengths and the tone of the green, it just looked really realistic. This one was priced at $25. As I was looking at these arrangements, this console table caught my eye. It is so stunning. It is this fluted dark brown wood console table. I just absolutely love it down to the detail of the fluted drawer and the handles. It is definitely a designer look for less. It is priced at $250. So if you are on the market for a console table, this is a great option. Now moving on to wall art, both designers came out with some really pretty options for spring. I was excited to see that they had this vintage inspired framed wall art in store. I saw it online and I really wanted to see it in person before I purchased it and I loved it. I love the purple tones. I especially love the vintage looking frame that it came with. This one is priced at $23. I could not pass him up. I did end up snagging one of these. Moving on to candles, I was excited to browse their selection. I am just such a sucker for a good candle and I felt like they came out with some really unique ones. They had some really pretty spring tones and then they also had some ones that had some really interesting shapes and textures to them. So this was fun to just kind of walk around and smell and look at these. And anytime that I can't find something when in doubt, I will always pick up a candle. So I love browsing this section. Studio McGee had a couple pieces that were in this really like interesting kind of green color. It's really pretty. The best word I can think to describe it is like an earthy green tone. I think styled correctly, this could look really beautiful. It's very unique. I personally liked the decorative tray the most. I liked the shape. And again, I think the color is just a lot very different and kind of cool. Moving on to the table lamps, there were a few options, not a ton in store, but I saw some from Studio McGee. She came out with these earth tone ones. There was a gray and then also that same kind of green tone. Those were in like a shiny ceramic 
um, material so I've seen these before nothing too crazy there and then the ones that did catch my eye though were these round rattan ones with these pleated lampshades I thought these ones were really cute these ones were each priced at $70 I wasn't super impressed with the pillows. I don't know, I don't know if my Target has them all out yet. I did browse them and I know that they have some of these spring looks. One that caught my eye was this really bold floral. Shea McGee does love her bold prints and this is a very beautiful pillow. It's not really my style, it wouldn't really work with my decor, but if this is your style, this is actually a very nice pillow and I know that a lot of designers like to use these bold prints just to make a statement, so this is a good option for that. I liked this rattan wicker tray. I thought it was really pretty. I like the handles. I think it would be really beautiful styled on a coffee table. So much marble in this collection. Marble is one of those materials that just instantly can make your look look so much more elevated and high-end and designer and everything was priced very well. I've loved these marble decorative bowls with these cute little lids on top. This is definitely something that you would see on a designer website. And I also loved these marble bookends. I thought they were really beautiful and this would look so great paired with wood tones or browns or real earthy things just to kind of elevate your look. I also really loved these candle holders. I haven't seen anything like this and I love the brass tone on them. I thought these were so expensive looking. These would look gorgeous styled on top of a coffee table book. Very unique and different. coffee cups were really cute the shape and the color of them I don't have any more space in my house for coffee cups but if I did probably snag one of these guys I also really liked these espresso cups that came in a set of two these were very cute and I love the color of them and then these berry bowls caught my attention these colors are so spring and I love the shiny ceramic I own a berry bowl already and it is actually very functional it works great you wash your berries right in it and then you can serve it in these pretty dishes right on your countertop
several rattan and wicker options. They have them in serving trays, baskets, decorative kind of trays that you can set on coffee tables like I showed you earlier. I thought these baskets were really cute. They came in a small and a large. These would be really pretty styled next to a fireplace or a console table with a blanket hanging out of them. If you're a fan of the gold and brass tone, Hearth and Hand had some really pretty pieces. They had some cool picture frames, some candle holders, just all these little miscellaneous items that are perfect if you're looking to incorporate that pop of gold within your decor. These are all great options. Okay, so I did end up picking up some items, so I wanted to show you and just do a little short haul for you guys. So starting off, I got these marble and wood salt and pepper shakers. These were so pretty. I love the color. They're in like a nice gray kind of cream color and they come with this cute little wood stand. I just love them. I think they look really high end and cute. I just thought that they were nice and they are priced at $14.99. So good price. They're nice and heavy. They look, they feel like a good quality. The next thing I got kind of sticking with that marble is I got this beautiful marble decorative tray. It's in like this gorgeous scallop shape. It's got like a really nice kind of two-tone to it. It's like a white, a cream, and then a gray color. And this one was priced at $30. It's very heavy and it's just got like a really nice unique look to it. So I don't have anything like this in my collection currently. So I picked him up. And then next, you guys saw this in the video, but I got this beautiful canvas painting. I actually don't know if it's like a real painting or not. I'm not too sure, but it looks like a canvas painting and it is in this gorgeous frame. It's like a nice vintage looking gold frame. I've been wanting a picture like this for a while. I just haven't found one that I really, really liked. And this one I did. It's got like some nice purple tones to it. And this one is in the Studio McGee line and it was priced at $23. And last but not least, I got this cute little faux plant. Jeez, he's like super wild. That's what I actually really like about him is I like that the stems are all different lengths and they're pretty wild. I feel like stems that look like this make it look a lot more realistic. And it comes in this cute little like ceramic white pot. And it's a really good size. Um, I pictured this on a coffee table, like sitting on top of a book. I thought that would be really cute. He was priced at $25 and he looks like that. So yeah, so that's everything I got. I didn't get a ton of stuff just because I don't even know what I even have in my spring decor because I haven't brought anything out yet. So I didn't want to go too crazy, but those are the items that I just couldn't pass up today. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun shopping and taking you guys with me. So if you did like it, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.